what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel <clears throat> we are in port allen louisiana and to nor new orleans to pick up the load so i seen a post well more like a comment um truckers should slow down well see here's the thing about that um, the fir first off, let me uh, kind of take a step back here and say it, it, it really struck a nerve with me because in all fairness, just about every state truck speed limit is at least five miles an hour under what's posted for cars. Now, the majority of states that I've actually paid attention to, trucks are 10 under. Now, you got California, trucks are 55. <clears throat> Cars are allowed to do 70. So, right there's 15. I mean, granted, it's California. California's its own government, pretty much, at this point. But, you know... Instead of worrying about us slowing down, you as four-wheelers, why don't you all uh, focus on slowing down, not being on your phone, reckless driving, cutting truckers off, cutting other vehicles off, you know. Let's see here, you got road rage. Um, cutting across two to three lanes of traffic to hit your damn exit instead of hitting the next exit down the road which is you know causing more safety hazard brake checking truckers because you think they're too close or you don't feel comfortable with the, the distance between them or you just have a hair up your ass and decide that you're going to brake check a trucker or try doing an insurance claim Sorry about that. I forgot to turn it down. So, you know, there is more and more risk involved of saving a four-wheeler's life than there is the y'all four-wheelers need to be worrying about us. Now, am I saying we're always right? No. There are times where I've seen trucks pass me you know, I'm doing a speed limit. They, they, they could be doing easily 80, 85 miles an hour. Sure, yeah, they need to slow down. But overall, stop worrying about us. Stop. Uh, start worrying about y'all. Because as soon as majority of four-wheelers make our job easier, make our job safer, make safer, makes it safer for everybody else that's on the road. Okay, we're on a, a, a time clock. Okay, so y'all want to sit there and say, well, we need to slow down. Let us merge over. Why, why do you got to be on your phone not noticing that we're trying to get over? You the turn signals, when we turn those turn signals on, it's not a suggestion. It means we need that lane. Well, there's something up, something going on up the road. Or there's people merging on. You know, we try to be courteous. Well, majority of us truck drivers try to make courteous. We try to be courteous for everybody else that's on the road. And, you know, there are days where I'll admit it. I've just gotten to the point that I got tired of it. And I just won't merge over. You can either stomp on the gas. Use that full acceleration lane. That's what it's for. Get in front of me go on about your business or you can hit your brake and fall behind me i don't care you know there, there's there's only so much you can do and then um you know just just being courteous to us it, it goes a long way because the thing is is that the longer we take to deliver the load the, the more and more trucks that 
or late on delivery or you know have to be rescheduled because they are late <clears throat> you know it, it's the it's just the supply sorry about that it's the supply and demand of it so if the supply goes down but the demand remains the same price goes up so let's just say your I think gallon of milk is what two fifty three dollars a gallon okay so let's just say the entire month every one of those milk trucks are late a day or two days due to accidents or road hazards or what have you so now your two dollars fifty cent gallon of milk three dollars a gallon has now shot up to four fifty five dollars maybe even six dollars depends on if the store really wants to raise the price that high and granted you know they're going to raise the price regardless because they don't give a shit truth because this uh the snd effect supply and demand supply goes down demand stays the same price goes up same thing with gasoline you know if the tankers are able to get the oil to the refineries and then the gasoline or diesels from the refinery to the gas stations well guess what supply went down demand stayed the same price goes up so back to the comment to the person that that posted this comment on one of the guys I follow on YouTube or subscribe to him you have a complaint that truckers should slow down well how about we roll reverse that and all you four wheelers slow down and pay attention because honestly if I had it my way everybody that drives on the road should go through CDL school should do, should do a minimum of two years on the road OTR not regional not local not day cab bullshit OTR so you see all the bullshit that we put up with on a daily basis and then just a tiny bit of hope that y'all will slow down but I know that will never happen so it's neither here or there but wishful thinking so if you guys like this video hit like comment down below hit subscribe watch for my next video that will be coming out either today or tomorrow and it's going to pertain about the black smoke matters issue and my thoughts on it because let's be honest the 30 or 40 trucks that did the slow roll y'all dumbasses you ain't gonna get shit done you just probably made it harder for the rest of us so hope y'all stay safe out there comment down below share this video hit like subscribe hit dislike I mean thumbs that thumbs down thumbs up I, I don't care you know tell me what you think of this video? Catch y'all later.